Hello everyone. Today we have six different job updates from IBM, Accenture, GE, Infor, Amazon, and HP. So the first role is from IBM, and they are hiring for Associate System Engineer. Here you can see the various job locations. They will put you in any location based on their business requirement. And this is a early professional role, so freshers is eligible to apply. Then if you scroll down, we can look at the required and preferred qualification that is education. So bachelor's degree is expected here. Then the bachelor's degree is BE or BTech in computer science, like all the CS branches like CSC, A or ML, DS, computer uh, cloud computing, uh, big data analysis, CSBS, IoT, robotics, AI, cybersecurity, blockchain, and others. Then you should have like 60 GPO, 60 percentage here. Then you should have the knowledge in programming, such like Java, C, C++, Python, and Node.js. Then also you should know about the software development lifecycle concepts. You should not have any backlogs. So for this role, they are hiring only freshers and the year of passing is 2026. You should be from the batch of 2026. So here you can see that the preferred technical and professional expertise is you should be from a engineering background and you should have a problem solving mindset, good interpersonal skill, and also you should be flexible to work from anywhere in India. So let's proceed into the second role that is from Accenture and they are hiring for application tech support practitioner. This is a full time role from Bangalore and the experience required for this role is zero to two years. If you scroll down, we can see the education qualification here. Any graduate can apply for this role and you should have like zero to two years of experience here. If you scroll down, we can look at the things that is required for this role. So you should have a service desk voice support or strong understanding of IT operation and support experience with incident management and problem management, excellent communication and interpersonal skill and those things. So even if you look into this qualification location, all things are same and these things are not much important. So let's proceed into the third rule. This is from GE Vernova. They are hiring for software engineer specialist intern and the job location is Hyderabad. For this role, if you are relocating to that location, they will assist you for that. Then uh, if you scroll down, we can look at the things that is required here. So the basic qualification here is you should be currently enrolled in a bachelor's or master's program in a very good college. Okay, then you should then your degree should be focused in computer science AI subjects. Then you should have like 8.5 CGPA. Then you should commit to work uh, full time for 40 hours per week for this internship. Then you should be graduating in 2026. And it should be available to pursue this internship from July 2025 to June 2026. You need to apply as soon as possible. So if you scroll down, we can look at the other things like eligibility requirements. You should be physically available to attend this internship in the GE office. This will take around one year. Okay. This internship will take around one year. And the work locations might be in Bangalore or Hyderabad. So the location and the date will be uh, given to you based on the business needs. So here you can see you should have a legal authorization to work in India. And the decide things here is you should have like prior intern, co-op or research experience in software or relevant area. You should have leadership experience, a strong commitment in career and technology, all those things. These are like some soft skills that is mentioned in decide characteristics. So this is a very good role. We have seen like two roles for 2026 graduates. So IBM is hiring 2026 graduates. GE Vernova is also hiring 2026 graduate. Accenture is hiring any graduate with the experience of zero to two years. So we are proceeding to the fourth role that is from Infor and they are hiring for cloud system engineer and the job location is going to be Hyderabad for this role and the experience required here is mid senior level so it might require some experience for this role but if you scroll down we can look at the basic qualifications here where they are telling you 
you should have done your bachelor's degree in computer science information technology or related field like b tech or mca here is the main thing they have mentioned zero to two years of experience in system administration or cloud operations is a in a high availability environment so they are basically looking for a mid-level experienced person but they are also open to hire some freshers if you have skills you should have hands-on experience in windows linux and system administration then you should have cloud uh, computing platform particularly like amazon then you should have a strong communication skill both verbal written and interpersonal you should be ha you should have the ability to document you should have experience supporting the erp systems and you should be self-driven here is the preferred qualification if you have experience with Infos application it is a big plus for you if you have aws certification and scripting skills in python powershell or similar languages and familiar with aws sdks it will be a big plus and working knowledge of iis or tomcat active dictionary databases and operating systems and prior experience in customer service or client focused technical support role so if you are a fresher if you are interested in this role first try to complete uh, this certified cloud practitioner course then also try to learn about this AWS. They are mostly looking for someone who knows about the AWS. So you need to know all these things and see if you are from BTEC or MCA degree and apply for this role. So we are proceeding to the fifth, uh, fifth role that is from Amazon and they are hiring for financial analyst accounting role. So, okay. So the job location is Bangalore. And if you scroll down, we can look at the basic qualification and preferred qualification here. So the basic qualification is you should be pursuing CA, you should have cleared your IPCC, preferably in first attempt. Like preferably in first attempt, sorry. Okay, then you should be available to intern with them for 12 to 18 months, that is around one to one and a half years. And you should have good knowledge of accounting and finance. Then you should have a preferred qualification where you should have strong communication skill, attention to detail. Good problem solving and analytical skill and proficient in MS Excel. So you can apply for this role also. You can find the link in the description. So we are into the last role. This is from HP and they are hiring for graduate software engineer. And the job location is going to be Bangalore. This is not a work from home opportunity. If you scroll down, we can look at the things like education and experience required for this role. You should be from a bachelor's degree in computer science, engineering information system or closely related uh, discipline and also master's degree is desirable for this role you should have typically like zero to two years of experience for this role then the knowledge and skills that is required here is programming skills in python java golang or javascript then you should have understanding of basic testing coding and debugging procedures then you should have the ability to quickly learn new skills and technologies and work well with other team members and the last two things is like you should have good communication skill understanding of devops practices like a ca or cd2 so this is the last job update so if you are looking for all the links please check the description i hope this video was very useful for you and if you found this video helpful hit the like button subscribe and share it to your friends and one more thing please let us know the feedback in the comment section if you need any other videos in preparing for any roles or any resources, please let us know. We will try to help you and I will meet in the next video. Until then, take care and bye.